Smoke rises as Syria's conflict spreads to Israel's doorstep. Syrian rebel fighters battled with President Assad's forces here and briefly overtook a checkpoint in the disputed Golan Heights. Israel moved people away from the frontier as a precaution, another sign of how Syria's civil war is having a growing impact outside its borders. Earlier, Syrian government forces celebrated their victory in the key town of Qusair after a long and fierce fight. They ousted the rebels and took control of this important point in the supply route for weapons. The town of 40,000 lies destroyed. Could this be a turning point in the Syrian regime's war with what it calls terrorists? The local governor says wherever terrorism goes and wherever it escapes, the footsteps of the Syrian army will follow. And he says they'll make Syria the graveyard of global terror. Unverified footage shows the ferocity of the battle for Qusair. And spearheading the Syrian army assault were fighters from the Lebanese Shiite militia Hezbollah, armed by Iran. And after the rebels were routed, BBC cameras spotted those Hezbollah fighters. As payback for their involvement, Syrian rebels fired rockets at their strongholds inside Lebanon, a civil war spreading. The West can't decide whether to arm the rebels. Even the British cabinet is split, but the US quickly condemned outside help for Assad. You know, it is clear that the regime is unable to contest the opposition's control of a place like Qusair on their own, and that is why they are dependent upon Hezbollah, and Iran to do their work for them. And with diplomacy stalled, here's yet another spillover. More refugees fleeing the latest fighting. Western leaders today reiterated warnings of the humanitarian catastrophe unfolding in Syria. Yet there's still no sign of peace talks, no clue if and when these people will be able to return home. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News.